This is Tim Albright with AV Nation at CDA 2016 in the Z-Wave Alliance booth. My good friend, Mr. Mitch Klein, how are you, sir? I'm doing fabulous, Tim. Good yeah. to be here with you. Good, good to be here with you. Um, this is your first, your first CDA. Actually, last year. Last year was your first CDA. I was uh, right. executive director for, for days for at days. the time when I came in, and well, I was in a daze. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, that's, that's the thing. Yes. That's the interesting thing. You and Vin Bruno have had similar trajectory because we do because Ben uh, joined Cedia right before the show last year that's right he did. Um, mm -hmm. you joined ZY right before the show last year how was your first year Ben uh, it's been shot out of a cannon um, it's been one of the more uh, fulfilling exciting opportunities I've had in a very very long time because there's so much in our opportunity the IOT the smart home is gaining traction everywhere it's in the papers everywhere and I travel like a banshee it's amazing I'm, I'm everywhere yeah. it's been a lot of fun well yeah we, we run into you at, at Infocom we run into you at ISE but you go to other shows as well yes. we were talking earlier this is not your only vertical no what no, other verticals does, does Z-Wave look into yeah that's actually interesting because the what people don't realize is that Z-Wave is in over 90% of the monitored security panels in North America. Oh wow. That's a lot of them. It's easier to tell you who we're not working with than it is to tell you who I am working with. It's, it's absolutely enormous. We've got the telcos uh, worldwide. Deutsche Telekom finally signed on with us. Uh, you know, we've got Telefonica out in South America. It, it, it's just absolutely enormous. So this vertical is very small compared to all the other verticals, yet it's not about the size. The CD channel, the AV guys, this really is a very, very important channel for us because these guys get the big hit in terms of you know what it's all about with connected products. And it's where a lot of you folks came from, and you, you came from control That's right. uh, for so many years. Exactly. You, you, you guys get it. You, you, this, is, this has been your, your life's blood for, for so many years. Yep. yep. I definitely have a passion about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yes. All right, so let, let's talk about a couple of things that, that Z-Wave specifically yeah. and maybe some of your partners have been going on. Uh, one thing that you, one thing here recently is the toolkit, uh, uh, yes. the certified toolkit yes. that you guys have, have released. Yes, actually, it's it's we've introduced it. We haven't released it yet, uh, uh, but, we, but we have introduced it, and in, uh, you know, it's this little piece here, uh, which is just basically a piece of hardware that we're we're building for installers to be able to diagnose, troubleshoot, test their Z-Wave installations. And you know, our recommendation is to do this after you're done installing all of your gear. You basically include this device into the system. It's a web-based application. So whatever your web-based thing is, whether it's a tablet or we always recommend laptop because it's a little bigger oh, yeah. screen. But then you can go in and take a look at the health of the network. You can take a look at the uh, you know, all the different devices that are in there, see if they're going to be able to make multiple connections. Uh, I strongly recommend getting this. This is going to be available to all of our integrator members of the Alliance. And the reason we've put that qualification on it is we want to make sure, we talk about terms, inclusion, we talk about a lot of ap applications that we want to make sure installers understand. To become an expert in a Z-Wave network, you could do it in an hour and a half, it's not complicated. Yeah. But there are some best practices. And of course, the integration community always wants to make sure when they leave, they've done a pretty good job. So this will help you do that. Is that a device that you leave on the network in, at the job site, or you take that with you? You take What's it with you. you. Okay. It's a tool. You know, you don't leave your screwdriver. Well, actually, a lot of guys so, like do, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you, you wouldn't leave it on the job site typically. However, there are some things you can do with it. Again, I don't want to bore you with all the details. You're going to have to go to our uh, website and take a look and at it. And they get it from you guys, straight from Z-Wave? Well, from us. There are cases where it might make sense to sell one to a project and just leave it there, because since it's a web-based application, you can go in and see if there are any issues. Nice. Customer calls you up and says, you know, I don't know what it is, but every once in a while at night that dimmer is not working. Uh, you can actually go in and look at logs and the history of devices and see exactly at what time, what's happening and where. You can diagnose where in the hops and in the mesh network it may or may not be operating properly. So it's, in some cases, if it's a pricey enough job with a target price of two ninety nine, it's not a bad it. idea to leave it in a, in a yeah, project. Absolutely. You can do that. Yes. Yeah. Let's talk about a, a couple of announcements that have been made this week. Mm -hmm. um, my my two cents is the pr biggest one probably is Control Four. Uh, I would tend to agree with that. Uh, they have been a confidential member for a while, and uh, which is appropriate, uh, absolutely appropriate. You don't want to get people's hopes up because you're developing uh, products. They've gone from uh, what I'd call uh, a, a Zigbee house, which f works for them, 
to really opening up an entire ecosystem of products. I mean, look at all these brands. Yeah. Uh, we are so thrilled. They announced Z-Wave capability or interoperability with their with their products now. Uh, they're launching with a limited amount of products initially just to make sure, because we know how integrators are. They see an opportunity, dive into the pool head first without checking if there's water in yeah. it. Um, so we want to make sure, go ahead, dive in. These products we already know have already been tested and working beautifully with Control 4. We're really excited about that. Talk about that, and you, you, you made an allusion to the difference between a confidential mm -hmm. member and a, maybe a, a, a in public member. What is that process like? They contact you and say, you know, hey Mitch, we're working on something, can we join up, but you know, not make it public necessarily? Yes. Um, yes, a lot of times companies will really want to kind of play around with it and decide how it's going to work within their, their, their systems. And Control 4 is the perfect example. There wasn't one obvious way to integrate. There are a lot of different ways it could be done. So to give Control 4 and others the opportunity to work with Z-Wave, to test it, to get the support of our field application engineers, to work with our marketing people um, before this has actually been released, I think it's very wise not to make it public yeah. until such time as it's ready. And, you know, we'll always work with people on it. Yeah. What's a couple of, uh, of new products or new companies that are, that's using Z-Wave that, that kind of knocked your socks off this week? Tim, this is the most fun part about this job, is that because it's a complete ecosystem, you could build a better mousetrap yeah. and not require an entire product line around that mousetrap in order to make it relevant and sell products into, into, uh, into homes. So, for example, we have a company that actually built the better mousetrap. Uh, yeah, yeah. An we actual actually, mousetrap? We actually oh. have a Z-Wave <laughs> mousetrap. I mean, this is, this is true, okay. right? Um, normally, if, if, if it wouldn't make sense, but no. now, well, let's face it, if you... Does it tell you when a mouse, when a mouse has been caught? That's or? the whole point. Seriously. So anyone who's had mouse problems, okay, if you haven't had mouse problems, you go, ew, gross. No, no. <laughs> if you've had issues with mice in your house and you set traps, you don't know when a mouse or two or three have been caught. You go down there weeks later, I'm not going to get gory. You can no, imagine no, no, it gets yes, gross. Yes. No, I, I, I've lived that, yes. So this one basically says, do something about it now. Uh, or another example, we have a Z-Wave weather station. Okay. This is really cool. I mean, you might go, well, what do I need a weather station for? Well, yeah, you can get a web-based you know, weather station so forth. But with the Z-Wave weather station, not only would you get notifications of, let's say, it's, it's pouring out, right? But you could actually make sure that the skylight, if, you know, it's an if this, then that. Yeah. If it's pouring out, make sure the skylight's closed. Yeah. Uh, you know, if the winds are over 35 miles an hour, make sure that awning on the back deck is closed. Yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of things which could be done that wouldn't require intervention. You think, wow, the beauty that's of automation. really cool. Absolutely. And, and interoperability. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, shit, I don't have the right product. Yo, you got Z-Wave, you can, you can make it happen. I, I want to finish up talking about mm -hmm. something that, that you laid on uh, Rich Pergoza and I a couple days ago, which yeah. was absolutely brilliant. Oh, what's that? You were talking about the evolution of, of DIY. You have a DIY over here, you have do it for me, yes. which was the first time I'd ever heard that, that phrase. Yes. And then you, you said there's this evolution, it's huge, do it with me. Yes. Explain that. So, for many years, it's always been basically a solid line in the sand. We've had this retail product that sells and it's do it yourself. And you've had this other end, which is, of course, what we all do, the do-it-for-me side of it. But there's been a grain of that area, okay? With all of the technology that's out, it's very easy for homeowners to go and buy a door lock, right? It's not so easy for them to install it. If that homeowner then calls up an integrator and says, could you go and put that door lock in for me, we already know the integrator's going to go like, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. It's going to cost more to go and do it. There's that middle ground. It's what we call um, do it with me. And this is something I think integrators have to look at as a real opportunity. The do it with me product uh, product category, it's where the homeowner buys it, wants to put it in, wants, a, wants some support. They can contact the integrator. The integrator can kind of walk them through it. You don't got to roll a truck. Let's talk about it. Let's, make, let's build a relationship. Let, let me talk about it. Hey, you know, with FaceTime and everything, 
you don't really got to roll a truck here. Let me say, oh, you know, you're doing this wrong. Turn this a little bit this way. Oh, you've got the wires mixed up. Um, and you charge a little bit of fee for that. But you know what? There's a potential customer for life. You know, with where this is all going, maybe that customer with the do it with me is going, you know, maybe I was, next time I put all this stuff in, let me call my integrator. I think it's an enormous opportunity. I want you to repeat what, what you said about the, the little fee because it, so, sometimes when, you, when integrators hear the, the do it with me, right? You know, oh, they're going to take my time, and you know, oh, I'm just doing this for nothing. There should definitely be some sort of fee around it because they are, you know, they're, they're utilizing your services. Right, right. So you can, again, I'm not going to do a lecture on no, business no, no, models, no. but you certainly can either charge a one time fee, an hourly fee, however you determine yeah. it, or better yet, offer up your support fee. Maybe it's an annual or a monthly or what have you contract. Offer it up. Be surprised. They might say yes. All right, sir. Mr. Klein, thank you so much, sir. How do people find out more about, about Z-Wave? They can always go to the zwavealliance.org. That's z-wavealliance.org. Uh, you can always email me at mitch at z-wavealliance.org or send a smoke signal. Um, either way, this is always great. I love talking with you, Tim. This I is fun. I love to you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, All right, Mitch Klein, uh, Z-Wave Alliance. I'm Tim Albright with AV Nation. For more information about us, go to avnation.tv.